Ah, Monsieur le Count de Monte Cristo. A pleasure indeed, Monsieur. Thank you, Gaston. Is General Beauclair here tonight? The General? Why, no, Monsieur. But who can blame him in the face of this last perilous attack? Attack? Veritas again, Monsieur. Another of the Veritas pamphlets has appeared on the streets of Paris. Indeed, this Veritas character certainly has a faculty for stirring up excitement. Who would you guess him to be? I've never been too good at guessing games. Did you keep my chair? But of course, Monsieur the Count. Oh, uh, and Monsieur Bonjon has been asking if you were coming. So, the Minister of Justice had been afraid his favorite pigeon may not come tonight. Ah, the Minister has other pigeons tonight, uh, Monsieur. This luck is quite prodigious. The back is 10,000 francs. Banco? My dear Count, I warn you, my luck is running. It's still Banco. Excellent. I'm delighted to see you, Count. I trust you'll be equally delighted to see my cards. Eight to the pont. Nine to the bank. I'm sorry, Count. The bank is 20,000 francs. Banco? Card. Nine for the bank. Baccarat. Your luck is running. Lucky at cards. Unlucky in love, Count. You know that is not true, Monsieur. Never unlucky in love, Monsieur. <laughs> the bank is 40,000 francs. I'm... I'm very sorry. I'm afraid I cannot continue tonight. Not bad news, Monsieur. Uh, no, just a business matter. I'm afraid I'll have to go, Henriette. Marquise, Count, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. Something has just happened, Mario. Yes, you lost 30,000 francs. It isn't like Bonjean to leave when he's winning. We better move fast. Michel. What about Beauclair? When did it happen? Not more than an hour ago. He died with this right beneath his eyes. Veritas again. I heard that another pamphlet had appeared. But you haven't read it, eh? To the citizens of Paris, the ways of life are strange indeed. When politicians have agreed to steal the millions you provide, the gold for which you slaved and died, the key to this corruption rare is Army General Jean Beauclair. Stein by Veritas. Beauclair lost his head, the fool. Was he? At least his troubles are over. Ours are just beginning. Don't flatter yourself. You are not important to Veritas. Aren't I? Who used his influence with the army officials to secure those army appropriations? The two million francs upon which you and Beauclair got so rich. You received your share, Debrick. You should be grateful. For the honor of going to the guillotine, Monsieur Bonjean. That money must be returned at once. That's a good trick. Seeing that it's already lost. Over the gaming tables! Where it can be regained as easily if necessary. Then regain it. The pamphlet says Beauclair's the key. The key opens the door. We're on the other side of it. The next pamphlet will strike at us! There must not be another pamphlet. We must find Veritas. We've been searching for three months. I I'm so bewildered I forgot my own name. Beauclair left this note. For me? Are you mad? Holding it back when time is wasting? I'm sorry. I'm so... He must have written it just before they... There it is. What, what? At least we found the distributing source. Of the pamphlets? Where? What's it say? My dear friend Michel, it's too late for me, but perhaps not for you. My agents made one vital discovery. The Veritas pamphlets are coming from... 12 Rue de Charbon. Charmaine, quickly. No, Father, I can't leave you. Oh, warn our friends. You must go. Fasten the last behind you. Break that door in! Stop that woman! <laughs> Where is your father? Is it... Who are you? There is a score of troops in there. We are too late. Help my father. Against a platoon of guards. They will kill him. Not yet. We'll find a way to help him. We must get you away from here. Mario, report when you can. Was it 
Meredith House, wasn't it? Who is he? Who rescued your daughter? Dobrik, you know how I hate brutality. You're Bonjean, the Minister of Justice. Uh, yes, monsieur, which is why I must learn the identity of Veritas. You learn nothing from me. But we already have, my dear friend. We know that your bookshop was a distribution center for these pamphlets. Not that we blame you. We are certain you did not realize how libelous and misleading they were. I know how true they were. And you know it too. No, Dubois. Believe me, you were duped. This pamphlet, for instance. Why should anyone strike a General Beauclair? Because some people dislike being robbed by corrupt officials. Beauclair? And others like him. You, for one. You'll be finished, too, when Veritas writes his next pamphlet. Veritas? And time's running out for you. You've gambled high. Cards, wild living. But this time you've gambled your life, Bonjean. Not if you lead us to Veritas. I won't. You can kill me first. There are many ways of dying. Some slower than others. You better do as I say, Dubois. I won't. Who is Veritas? You'll never learn from me. Who is Veritas? Who is he? Shut the door, Jacopo. You'll be safe here, mademoiselle. For the moment, anyway. Where am I? Who are you? The Count of Monte Cristo, at your service. But you are a friend of the king. So I've heard. Have a glass of wine, it will help you. I'll help myself, thank you. May I say that your charm is exceeded only by your courage, mademoiselle. Save your flattery for the king. The same king who allows his ministers to rob his subjects. The king in whose name my father has just been taken. I'm leaving here. Very clever, monsieur. So what now? The guillotine? Answer me! Jacopo cannot answer you, mademoiselle. His loyalty to me cost him his time. But you can answer. I ask, what now? Charmaine, your father's bookshop distributed the Veritas pamphlets. Obviously, he must have known the man, been quite close to him, possibly even a dear friend. If you're asking me who Veritas is, I don't know. And even if I did, I would not tell you. I believe you, my dear. And I'm certain that Monsieur Dubois would not reveal the Veritas' identity even to his own daughter. But would you know his handwriting? And if I do? Where did you find this? You? You are Veritas? Let's say I'm so close to him that we even share the same thoughts. I do not know how to apologize. I'm not concerned with apologies, but with your father's life. Now, when we find when they've taken them. Edmund! What have you discovered, Maria? They took Dubois to Bonjean's home, kept him there for an hour. Then they bundled him up by coach on the road to Sevres. Did you follow them? Of course. But they must have seen me. I rode into an ambush and I was lucky to escape with my life. We have lost them, monsieur. I'm truly sorry. Was Bonjean with them? No, he remained in Paris. Well, I think I know where we can find him later. But they will force my father to speak. And he won't, monsieur. He'll die first. I know, my dear. How can we find him? Not by scouring the countryside. But I think there might be another way. What? Please, monsieur, what way? Through Bonjon himself. Bonjon won't tell us. You will fight him, monsieur? Yes. But not with a sword. <laughs> not yet. There he is. Plain again. Gambling to win two million francs worth of army funds before Veritas writes another pamphlet. Could he win as much as that? If he lets the bank run and his luck is with him. What if it isn't? Then perhaps we can save Dubois. I kept your chair again, Count. Uh, Monsieur Bonjon insisted. 
Bon Jean insisted. He seemed most eager to see you, monsieur. Only because nobody plays as high as you do. It's your money he wants, Edmond. And I want his. The bag is 25,000 francs. He's playing very high. Seven to the bag, six to the pot. And winning. The play will go higher. The bank is 50,000 francs. Banco. Well, I'm delighted, Count. Welcome. Thank you, my dear Bonjour. The bank is 250,000 francs. Oh. Banco. Seven to the bank, six to the pot. The bank is 500,000 francs. Oh. Banco. My dear Count. My dear Bonjour. Seven to the bank and six to the pot. The bank is one million francs. At this rate, he'll win all the money he needs from you. You've won a million, Michel. I need two. Two? Let the bank run. The whole million. But nobody can afford to play against a million. Look, not even Monte Cristo. I'll sign for it. Anything you wish, Count. The bank is one million francs. Oh. Banco. Edmond. You will match the bank for a million? Did I hear a right count? I said Banco, my dear Bonjour. Good luck. To one of us. Yeah. Eight to the bank. Nine to the pot. Will you stack the money and put it in the safe, please? At least you're still lucky in love, Bon Jean. Just missed the performance of a lifetime, Debrec. I lost everything. To Monte Cristo. Perhaps not, Michel. I want you to meet uh, Mademoiselle Charmaine Dubois. Dubois? I came back to your home. I found her there asking for you. She wants to make a bargain with you, Michel. What sort of a bargain? I cannot live if I do not see my father again. I can tell you what you want to know. You'll tell, you'll tell me who is Veritas? I promise you'll see your father. Veritas is... Veritas is the Count of Monte Cristo. Where is Monte Cristo? In school just left, monsieur. He was playing to destroy me. I order his immediate arrest. If he isn't at home, scour the entire city. He must be found at all costs. My dear Bonjean, is something disturbing you? By the way, I came through the garden. I hope you don't mind. I'm only too happy, Count. You came alone? Do you object? Well, cher man, I didn't expect to find you here. Mademoiselle Dubois is a most surprising young lady. 
But why the honor of this visit, Count? You lost over a million. I thought you may want your revenge. Well, Bonjour, the turn of another card. You are very generous. I want my revenge. But I don't think I can risk another million. Of course, if you care to return the money. As a loan? Not as a loan, Count. Let us say, to buy your life. From whom? From me. My life isn't yours to sell. Isn't it? As a matter of fact, if I were gambling on your future or mine, I think I would wager on myself. May I ask why? Because you're finished, Bonjour. Your life won't be worth a button when this pamphlet appears. So, Veritas has sprung into print again. Oh, this is not a printed edition. We are still waiting the orders to issue it. But then, everything starts with a pen. You know, mightier than the sword. And what does the pen say now? Read it. To the citizens of Paris, the ways of life grow stranger still when by the stroke of one small quill, the Minister of Justice too can steal two million francs from you. So men of Paris rise and fight. Rise in your wrath, demand your right. Sign Veritas. True. Above all. My dear Count, you know this will never appear. Perhaps not, if you accept my offer. And what offer could Veritas make that would interest me? Veritas? I had to tell him. I had to think of my father. So, what is your offer now? I want you to take me to Dubois now. And I want your written confession that you have stolen two million francs worth of army funds. In return, I promise you that pamphlet will never be issued. And you can leave France tonight. My dear Count, you may be the richest man in the world, but you are not the brightest. Don't you realize you are under arrest already? Now give me your sword, if you please. I think not. Don't touch him! I see. Not a turn of the card, but a turn of the wrist. You must know I'm the finest duelist in Paris. So I've heard. And everything has come my way, Count. I have the pamphlet, which will not be issued without your orders. I have Dubois. And what is more important, I have Veritas. Not yet. No, he's mine. I am afraid, my dear Veritas, that I shall have to put out the torch of truth. But this is for you. wanted me to take you to Dubois. And I promised you'd see him too, Charmaine. I never go back on a promise. Shall we go? Please enter, mademoiselle. And you, dear Monte Cristo. Let's have some more light to break. Father. Oh, Father, what have they done to you? Charmaine, Edmund, you're their prisoner too. Oh, believe me, I did not betray you. You don't have to tell me, my friend. Even more touching than I expected. The deathbed reunion of old friends. There are some things men do that no earthly vengeance can properly make up for. The hereafter frightens me no more than you do at the moment. But now I believe it is time to consummate our little business. With me helpless, of course. You were at my mercy before, Count. I disarmed you, remember? He will not kill him. Stop right there, Monsieur! It seems we caught up just in time. Caught up? Why, yes. They were watching your house and followed us. Thank you for leading us to Dubois. So, you're coming to my home as a trick? Of course. And so was Mademoiselle Charmaine revelation to you at the gambling salon. You played your part very well, my dear. And now you'll kill me. Is that it? Well, not in cold blood. You'll have the same chance as I do. 
We'll start right where we left off. Not quite where we left off. You'd lost your sword. Oh, yes, of course. It was on the ground. About there. We'll start from here. What's the trick? That gives me the advantage. Oh, no, believe me. You see, I have a pen. A pen? Mightier than the sword, remember? Do you believe you can kill me with a pen? I have killed you with a pen. You're already dead, Bonjon. By tonight, this pamphlet will be all over Paris. A pamphlet? You read it tonight. It looks even better in print. What do you want? I've told you. Your confession. And I can leave France? I may even grant you that, if you can kill me. Of course I can kill you, now! Then in that case, the sword is mightier than the pen. You fool! I can still kill you. Prove it. For you the pen, Bonjean, for your confession. What about Veritas? Will he be silent now? The voice of truth will never be silent. As long as men trample on the rights of others, the voice of truth will always be heard. Truth above all. <laughs> 